Hey guys, it's Kevin with the New Warehouse Podcast and I'm here at Manifest. I'm in the Dexery booth and I'm joined by Andre. He is the CEO and co-founder of Dexery here. And of course, behind us, we have the Dexery solution, moving back and forth, doing inventory counting, which we're gonna learn a little bit about here. Um, but this is also the first time demoing in the US, correct? Yes. Right? So why don't you tell us first, I guess, a little background, what is uh, Dexery and then what it is that you guys focus on? Um, yeah, I mean, we're a technology company. We have created a global visibility platform for logistics. And this machine behind me is our fully autonomous robot that allows us to collect real-time data and transform them into insights from any warehouse. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So so tell us a little bit about kind of the uh, presence here in the, in the U.S. And, and why it's important to be able to kind of demo, because you're demo for, for the first time in the U.S. So tell us a little bit about how you're expanding. Yeah, I mean, in, it's the first time we're at Manifest. Yeah. So we also used the opportunity to announce our um, our market entrance in the U.S. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of customers. We have a couple of robots live in the U.S. Yeah. But it's really good to bring the to bring the technology here to make it available for everyone to see, mm -hmm. so everyone understands the power of real time data insights. Yeah, absolutely. So so talk us a little through what's happening here. I mean, it's moving. We see it's moving back and forth, right? Yep. But at the same time, we can see it's it's doing something here with. Uh, products behind us, right? The demo product. So so talk us a little through how it's working. What is it doing? Um, so this is a fully autonomous robot designed for warehouses. So it will go up and down the aisles, up and down the racks in the warehouse. As you can see, it's a very tall structure. Yes. So it's very about 40 tall. feet tall, yeah. 12 meters. Uh, and this allows us to capture the entire data set. So we can scan the entire rack in one swift pass. Mm. This information then gets processed. So we're talking about stock taking, we're talking about occupancy on the racks, uh, we're talking about understanding how much product is there available to pick, yeah. but also how well is everything being utilized? What's the efficiency that we can extract out of the warehouse? Okay. And all that data is processed directly on the robot and is pushed um, in real time index review. So the information becomes available to the warehouse operator, to the warehouse manager, to the area managers in real time as robots are scanning. Interesting, and it's very interesting too. I think the the form factor for it, right, having this tall tower, uh, is very different from a lot of the other stuff that's on the market that's capturing data like that as well. Um, so, talk to us a little bit about how that makes a difference, and and how kind of you know capturing a whole section of racking at a time is is making such a difference in capturing that data. Absolutely. I mean, this was uh, this was our design decision. We we looked at the problems that we're trying to solve for the industry. Mm. We looked at holistically how can we build a technology that operates 24/7 in these warehouses. Yeah. So in order to be able to scan a, a million square feet, a hundred thousand pallets in a day, we needed something that can operate with people around it, with forklifts, with machinery around it. Mm. So therefore, a ground-based robot with all the all the safety systems it built into it was the best form factor. And the other bit was how can we actually collect enough data and how can we can collect enough information to be able to transform this in a meaningful time frame into insights. Right. So that's why we have a 40 feet tall, 12 meter tall tower on it. Yeah. Because that allows us to scan eight, 10,000 pallets an hour. And for a warehouse that has 100,000 pallets, you know, that becomes very, very important because yeah, you need absolutely. to have that speed of scanning and you need to have that speed of turning that data into insights. So everything is processed directly on the robot and then the insights are being made available in Dexter with you. Mm, very interesting. So, so as it's going across here, we see uh, kind of a flash of light. Is that it capturing the information? Um, those are the lights that we use to become completely um, environment agnostic. Oh, so okay. you have different types of lighting in warehouses. You can operate during the day, you can operate during the night, you can operate in sunlight or in darkness. It's very important to detach from any of the environmental conditions. Mm. So this allows us to operate in fully dark warehouses so we can save energy, we can conserve oh, nice. the environment as it is. The light there is just projecting to be able to extract high quality images and good quality data from the environment. Very interesting. So, so you could essentially run this overnight, right? And have all that data captured so it'd be ready to go in the next day and, and get those things when uh, kind of maybe some downtime or, or something like that, depending on what's going on, you could have, have the lights off, right? Yeah, exactly that. So you can operate fully, uh, fully overnight in lights off uh, warehouse. You can operate overnight if there's a calmer period. People are still working, but you know there's less uh, less traffic through the through the aisles. Mm -hmm. But you can also operate non-stop. So we have a lot of locations where we literally scan 24/7. The robot scans, wow. yeah. stops, charges its batteries, does it fully autonomously, 
and then starts again and continues the scan. Wow, very interesting. And, and talk to us a little bit too, I mean, as it's capturing that data, now what does that look like on the back end? Like what do I see? What type of uh, decisions can I make based on that? How can I take some action from that? That's a good question because it captures a lot of information, a lot of data. So if you look at um, the inventory accuracy, right? You can compare that to what you think you actually have there. You can compare it against what is actually there. Eliminate any kind of error. So you make sure the right product is in the right location at the right point in time. Right. You can look at part of the digital twin is extracting how much occupancy you have in any location. Yeah. So if you have a um, 10 level warehouse, but you're only ever utilizing half the height in every level, you could literally put in more levels and then put in more product in that warehouse. You have the same, you have the, the same coverage and you have the same warehouse unit that you operate. You just put more product to it so it becomes more efficient. It becomes you know, more profitable for the owners. Then you can look at how much product is made available for picking. So you never have missed picks. You never run right. out of product. When pickers go there, they don't wait for things to be coming out of storage. Mm. Everything then runs at optimal efficiency. You can push the 100% efficiency across one warehouse or across a network of warehouses. Right. Interesting. Yeah, and I think it's so great to be able to have that visibility and get that visibility captured so quickly, as you said, you know, doing like 10,000 locations in an hour is insane. I mean, that's huge productivity uh, gain there and being able to get that insight and, and more almost uh, real-time data in a sense a little bit, right? Um, so very interesting stuff. And, you know, it's been uh, really interesting to see it in person here and be able to see how it kind of works and, and captures at the same time. Um, so tell us a little bit about, because uh, it's about a, uh, maybe a year ago that we talked right yeah. on the podcast. So, so tell us a little bit about kind of what's happened in the last year or so. How have you guys evolved? How have you expanded? Yeah, I mean, we, I think when we, when we had the, the previous discussion, it was just as we were launching this product. Right. So yes. um, it's, not, it's not even been a year since this has been out in the market. We've deployed across uh, multiple locations in the UK, scaled across Europe, and we've scaled deployments across the US. So the market adoption was very, very good. It was very powerful, very well, well received by the market. We focused a lot on creating a robust and really, really high quality data capturing robot. But more importantly, a lot of our efforts recently have gone into how can we extract more insights? How can we bring more value to customers? Yeah. So Index or Review in our software platform, it's a digital twin platform, but that's where the latest um, AI technology is going to bring value to our customers. Yeah. So that's where we bring more modules, that's where we bring more optimization tools, um, warehouse um, visibility tools, but also that's where you have the ability to go from one warehouse to another and then compare and contrast in real time best practices and why one's operating at 98% efficiency and one is maybe 95%. So it gives you that ability to cross compare basically within a click of a button. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, and it's great to have that visibility and, and be able to understand that and, and make those decisions, like you said, and, and make them uh, very quickly. So so as you guys continue to, to evolve here, um, and obviously, you know, it looks like you're definitely making a push into the U.S. market if you brought the machine here, right? So so tell us a little bit about what's uh, kind of in store for the future of Dexori right now. So we're definitely um, doing a lot more in the market, in the U.S. market. Um, we have a couple of customers that are live on the ground, which is great. It's very exciting. Um, we've had a lot of interest, so it's a, a, a big part of our focus this year is going to be expanding operations in the U.S. I'm okay. um, getting a lot more warehouses live, but making sure we start establishing sort of like our own excellent centers where we can give customers a deeper access to what's also on the roadmap, what's coming, okay. and how this can transform the industry as a whole. Very interesting, yeah. And I think the ability to do that type of thing, like you said, have an excellent center and have them understand, you know, kind of the applications and, and see how it can work for them. I think it's such a, a smart thing and a great thing to do. Um, so we'll definitely be looking forward to, to seeing that and seeing uh, future developments of Dexory as well. So Andre, thank you so much for uh, inviting me into your booth here to, pleasure. to show me the solution. It's great to see it in person and we look forward to uh, seeing continued future developments. Uh, if people are interested in learning more about Dexory or maybe getting in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? Definitely through LinkedIn or going to our website and, and checking out the latest um, the latest materials and the latest product offerings. All right, great. So it's been a pleasure to talk to you and we'll definitely Absolutely. put all the information up at the newwarehouse.com as well so people can easily check it out. So definitely check out the solution, you know, the new way for data visibility capture uh, and to be able to take your uh, operations to the next level.